I can walk into any house for sale and talk them a little bit uh, uh, discount of the of that price. And number two, it drags way too long. Number three, and the most important thing that proves my number one is at that point the homeowner still is in the house. So bank still has him with his shirt. <laughs> so bank is not feeling it yet. Okay, so that's the time that they are not going to make deal. So why am I banging my head against the wall with this property? Let's move on. There's yeah. other ones that you really make good money so, on. You, you, said it, uh, you said it drags on too long. What, what's the cause of that? Is because there's a lot of players in there? Oh, because the banks are, the bank, are, yeah. are the bank that will accept, let's call it the loss mitigator. You, get, you submit this lowball offer to the bank and it goes to a loss mitigator. And you know what their file looks like? <laughs> <laughs> and they're they're probably 22 years old and working on temp wages because that's what the banks can afford. It. And they got a stack of files. And if yours doesn't, they get finally down to your file four months after your offer is put in. They pull out the file. If they don't see something they like. They go, sorry, it's not going to work. And they put back on the top. So, so the bottom now line, you take that same property. Let it go through the foreclosure. Now bank owes that property. The same guy, probably his cousin, in his <laughs> other office, same wage he's getting, but his boss is yelling at him. <laughs> I want this thing off. I want the money because bank, uh, uh, if you contrary most believe, banks they are not in real estate business. Well, they are in money business. They don't want real estate. We want real estate. <laughs> The, so they are on them to get it off the market and they will make much quicker decision and they, they will give you much better deals. So this is kind of why we had this set up this way. And I, I, I was uh, going through talking to Mo and we're like, okay, pre-foreclosure, when, when, when should you buy? And I, I didn't say it, in any of these processes there, there could be a good time to buy. So that's why I put maybe or, or, or else. Maybe is you're dealing with an emotional seller. Yeah, you really want to deal with that? You're taking their house, okay? You're, 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 you've got you're, you're, you've got the top hat on. You're coming after them to take this. No, I don't like dealing with that. And there's a lot of people out there that will deal with it. Problem is, most of the time you won't know if uh, it's not public knowledge that they're in trouble. Okay. So when does it become public knowledge? When the yes. default is filed. Okay, but so we go to the short sale. We just explain what happened. What's the problem with the short short sale? Is it's a hassle for everybody involved emotionally for the buyer, the seller, the just, just it, and the and the banks don't care. They're overworked. They're on their salary paid. They're not getting paid a commission to do this. So short sale, maybe not my favorite. It's just okay. The only good me. Default is filed. <laughs> And no sale, everybody and their brother knows about it now. So somebody asked me about a foreclosure website here earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's what you see. Everybody and, the, everybody and their brother is looking at those foreclosure websites. Or going, and there's a bunch of people going to courthouses. And, 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 uh, and there's a lot of wannabe, would-be investors that are, that, are, that are going down there to buy these on the foreclosure. The, 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 or get it before it goes to foreclosure by going to the owner and saying, hey, we can give you 2000 bucks to get us your property and we'll get out. You know, there's, there's just all of a sudden, you're dealing with everybody and their brother and their cousin. Okay, that's not my favorite time, but it can be a time. And there's a, but there's the competing against people who do that full time. Follow the notices default, go to the person's doorstep, say, I can give you some money, get out of here. Then the next person's right behind them doing the same. Yeah, I'll give you some money, get out of here. Emotionally traumatic. We're getting closer to losing the house. Yes. <laughs> How about if you go during the foreclosure? You find one of those in the listing, they sell you, it comes in the email, I love it. I have bought them. Um, you go to the property and there's no, um, there's no one lives there. What happens with that property? 
It is going through the foreclosure. That property is in no man's land. Bank cannot talk to you because it's not banks. Owner is gone. So I just wasted my gas went down there. Can't, can't, can't do anything. Can't do anything. Okay. Here's what happens with the with, at this point. They usually disappear. When they're about 30 days out from losing the house, you can't get a hold of them unless you have your, your mom's cell phone. Because they're, they're, they, they deer in the head like looks, I'm losing it, emotionally they freeze, they don't want to make it, they can't make decisions. Once again, it's not a fun situation. People, some professionals are out there that can go in and, and find these people, private investigators even, to find the people say, we can save your property. But once again, usually they couldn't sell it, right? Because why? They owe too much in the beginning. And the fees are too much. They couldn't do it anyway. Okay? So now, is a good time to buy. Uh, foreclosure goes to the foreclosure steps. What is it? The first Tuesday of every month. First Tuesday of every month. Literally on the foreclosure steps. <coughs> uh, not courthouse steps. Right there, Williamson County, Travis County. I've been to several of them and uh, had, had bid at these things. Guess what? you got to pay cash. Cashier's checks. You bring cashier's checks. I haven't seen it. They said they wouldn't take cash anymore. But is that oh, no, they don't take cash. <laughs> <laughs> no, like bring the suitcase. Yeah, I know. The Guido. Oh, yep. Yeah, every county courthouse has a courthouse steps. And one of the most important thing is if you all have purchased house, you go through the contract, option, you know, inspection, boom, boom, you know, like three, 30 days, maybe a little bit shorter, a little longer, and you close, they say, congratulations, you're the homeowner. At that step, they, they tell you, congratulations, you're a homeowner. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's... The sale is final. Oh, wait a minute. Something's wrong with it. Oh. So tell us Yours what you're going to buy. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that. Yeah. What, what, what he's saying, basically, is you buy it as is. Yeah. You buy it as is without the ability to inspect it. You don't know there's a foundation problem. You don't know if it has mold. You can't get in the property mm. normally. You can't find out about them ahead of time. No. You, can, you can look That's through all. the windows, maybe, without getting chased off by a pit bull. But... Bank cannot let you in. If it's listed, and I had one of those, that's when I was bidding on. I bid on my own client's property because they were head and deer in the head like wouldn't. So I'm like, uh, where's that listing? At? Where's that? What's, what's the listing? The listing of what's going to be. What's oh, for sale? What's going to come up is the notice of default at the courthouse. Usually, what Monday after. The notice of default was the notice of sale. Yeah, yes, 21 sale. days before the first Tuesday of the next month. Yeah, yeah. The 21 days weeks. before the next week. And, uh, and the sales price most likely is going to be, when you're starting to auction, is the loan amount plus the, the, the uh, amount of default plus the attorney and court fees and all that. That's the time, that's the price that the... Uh, the start the auctioning it. Yeah, that's the price that, yeah. that you're going to be hearing. Yeah. So there's a notice of sale. You can go to the courthouse. Oh, I've been to Williamson County. They're great. You just go walk in there, and they give you a nice long, big book, a big file, and look at it. Okay. And you can go look at the property. You can you can't get in it, but you can go look where it is and see it. And and sometimes there's a good deal to be had, like the one I did. I was bidding on, and I bid I bid basically what it would be worth because I actually had a buyer for it, but there was not enough time to save it because you couldn't get his financing closed. So I already had a built-in buyer. I was going to buy it at the foreclosure steps, turn around, sell it to my investor, and some Joe Plummer it Joe came Plummer. in. Joe the Plummer came <laughs> in, bid on this property, bid me out by $2,000, and I lost it. He ended up he ended up selling it sometime down the line and didn't make any money. But he got in my way, and hey, more power to him. He outbid me. 